guys, it's Katie and today's video is going to be what's in my purse quarantine edition because although restrictions are easing up, you still need to be super super careful when you do go out. So I have a lot of things in preparation for being safe and also just a lot of things I would normally carry in my purse. So let's get started. Here's the wonderful purse that I use currently. This is from New York. I'm not really sure which store I got it from but I absolutely love it. I love how simple the black is. There is an outside pouch which I don't actually use and then if you unzip this, this is the main main compartment as you can see it's pretty big and it also has a couple little pockets inside it and then the bottom is just very hard which is really nice because it stands up on its own. First thing that I have in my purse are a pair of gloves. So I don't wear these to grocery stores or restaurants or anything but I have them just in case I run into any situation where I feel like I might need gloves. It's a huge safety precaution and I definitely recommend carrying around a pair. You might not have to use them but just in case you do you will always have one on hand. <laughs> get it on hand because they're gloves. I just, that's so good. I just thought of that. Wow. The next thing that I have is a face mask. This face mask is a non-medical grade one. Um, it's just the blue normal one that you guys have probably seen a lot. I definitely want to get one from Etsy that's kind of like cuter and more my style, but we have these for now. I know face masks are very controversial and I don't like to bring controversial things onto my channel, but I highly, highly suggest you wear one. It not only protects you, but it also protects other people around you and it's so simple and you don't have to wear it for 12, 14, 24 hours a day like doctors have to do. You just have to wear it when you're out in public. You guys are welcome to have your own opinions, but I will always wear a face mask just because I want to protect my loved ones, I want to protect myself and others around me. Moving on to the next thing, I have a phone charger. This doesn't really have anything to do with safety, but I always carry a phone charger around just in case my phone happens to die. Um, it's just, you guys know what phone chargers look like. <laughs> Next we have my wallet and I'm holding it like this because, you know, my ID's there. Um, but yeah, I just have a cute black wallet that matches my black thing. This is from Vera Bradley. I absolutely love these wallets because they can fit in my back pockets when I'm wearing shorts or jeans, which is a plus side. So yeah, it's just super cute and it looks like that. Okay, what do we have next? Next, we have Tic Tacs. These are my favorite, fresh mints. I actually can't eat gum because my stomach gets upset because of the saliva or something, but I can't eat gum so I have Tic Tacs with me and I absolutely love these. I just pop them in whenever I need them. It's great. What is next? I feel like Mary Poppins with this bag. I have so much stuff in here. Okay. Next is hand sanitizer. Going along with the safety precautions, I use hand sanitizer wherever I go. I used to do it anyways, but now I do it even more just to stay safe and I make sure not to touch my face. I think hand sanitizer is second best to washing your hands, so when you can't wash your hands, use hand sanitizer. We have these little gum pick thingies. I don't really know what they're called. I think they're called gum picks. These are really great if you're going out to eat or if you have just eaten and you have food in your teeth. These are like a mini toothbrush but not really. Um, they're just great for getting stuff out of your teeth. And so I have them in a little cute case. Okay, my glasses. These are very important because if I am going anywhere I'm probably driving or probably need to see. So I have my Kate Spade glasses. Oh, they're a little uh, <laughs> foggy. But yeah, these are my glasses. They're super cute and it comes in this case. Um, oh, that was kind of loud. So yeah, I definitely need my glasses when I go out. Next we have hair ties and if you're a girl, you know bringing hair ties wherever you go is a must just because you never really know when you're going to need hair ties. Sometimes I'll get like really hot all of a sudden and need to put my hair up so I have these just in case. I also have a pen. Everyone should carry a pen if they carry a purse. Just carry a pen because you never know when you're going to need to sign stuff. I'm always prepared in my purse area. Like I always over prepare for everything just in case and I have needed a I have needed a pen multiple times and nobody else had had one but I did because I was prepared. Then we have my secret zip pocket in this side that's not so secret anymore. Um, and in here I have lovely feminine products. So I have a tampon and a pad and I always carry these around in any purse, any backpack that I'm taking just because you never really know when it can surprise you and sneak up on you. So always be prepared in that sense. And then this isn't in my purse because as you can tell I don't really have a room but when I do go out I usually bring my pair of sunglasses. These were from Target. I think they were $18. Absolutely love them. They're super cute, super summery. So yeah, I always bring sunglasses with me because most of the time it's sunny during the day. 
so protect your eyes. And that is it for what's in my purse quarantine edition. I hope you guys enjoyed. Make sure you are staying safe, washing your hands, doing everything that the health people tell you to do. Health people might not be the right term, but just stay safe, please. Um, I hope you guys have a great day. I hope you liked my what's in my purse video. I like showing you guys what I carry around on the daily. As you can tell, I'm a very prepared person. So I hope you guys enjoyed, and I'll see you later.